So nursing homes and care centers are easing visitation restrictions, allowing for more personal visits between residents and their families. Now for one man at the Southeast Louisiana Veterans Home, seeing his family today was extra special. Mike McDaniel explains why. After almost 63 years, Anna Taylor hugs her 87 year old dad for the first time. Oh, thank you. A man she's only known for the last 10 months. Just to feel that connection but the, between the two of us, that it was priceless. Anna, who lives in Texas, was put up for adoption at birth. Never knowing her biological parents, a DNA kid, and some time on her hands during the pandemic last year changed that. She tracked down her dad, Nicholas Noto. The Navy veteran lives at the Southeast Louisiana Veterans Home in Reserve. Hi. Do you know who she is? That's your daughter. Anna met her dad for the first time back in September, but because of restrictions, couldn't hug or kiss him. Maybe. That changed Friday. It's like I can breathe now, you know, that it's finally the end of the journey. I finally got to connect with my dad personally. To be here and see that was just a, a really great moment. Brandy Patrick with the State Department of Veterans Affairs says hugs and kisses began this week. We've had such a wonderful response and just been so blessed to be able to allow those interactions to happen again. It was exactly a year ago when the Veterans Home got its first positive COVID case. Now Patrick says about 90% of the residents here are fully vaccinated, leading to moments like this. Over a year I've been waiting for this. <laughs> and finding her dad, Anna also found an extended family, including a half sister. Rose. To see my sister um, and my father hug for the first time was, you know, I'm strong, but I did break down. Yeah. All right. With all the hardships of a pandemic, this family was able to find a blessing in finding each other. If you've been adopted, don't give up. There's hope. I mean, I never even thought my wildest dreams that this was even possible. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.